Hey guys, and welcome to the very first episode of a new series that I'm starting called Reef Gear Premiere. So this series is going to be about reviewing the newest, and latest, and greatest reef gear. Little known or underrated gear, or really anything that makes your experience with your reef tank better. So that brings us to today's topic, grow out discs. So grow out discs are very similar to frag plugs. A frag plug is really any small surface that reef tank hobbyists a lot of times use to break off little pieces of coral and then glue it to it so that way that they can either sell it or give it to a friend or just put it back into their display tank in a different area. Frag plugs make your frags much easier to organize and then ship off. So what's the difference between a frag plug and a grow out disc? So there's two main differences which is their purpose and their size. First, let's start with their size. Their plates are grot discs that are the same size as frag plugs, but typically they're a little bit bigger or a lot bigger than frag plugs. That brings us to the purpose of grow out plates. Not everybody's gonna need them and they don't have a place in everybody's reef tank. So what they're used for is right in the name, which is grow out plates. Grow out plates only purpose is to serve as a surface for coral to grow on top of. If that's their only purpose, why would you want them to grow on these ugly little squares instead of rocks in your tank like a real reef? Well, some people do have grow out plates in their display tank, myself included. I personally think it makes them look just a little bit less natural. And that brings us to where I think grow out plates really shine, which is in a separate tank called the frag tank. These tanks are usually much more shallow and don't have space for live rock. That's where grow out discs and squares are really good because you can put corals on top of them giving them an area to grow just like live rock would, but you can put them side by side by side by side and have a lot more real estate for corals. I don't think I'm sold yet. Why would you go through all that effort just to set up an ugly tank filled with colorful squares? For me personally and a lot of others, setting up a frag tank allows you to buy corals that are multiple hundreds of dollars, but I definitely would not be able to get otherwise. By selling little pieces of your coral locally or online, Using grow up plates makes this process much easier by giving you the ability to cut your corals to the perfect size to sell. So how to choose the right grow up plates? There's a lot of grow up plates for sale. Some of them are better than others. So that brings us to today's find. After doing tons of research, I think I finally tracked down the very best frag plate. And they are the Reefway grow up discs. After just getting done unboxing them and getting them in my hands for the very first time, I can say that I'm very impressed. So right off the bat, I can see why people like them so much. I personally got the 2.5 inch Reefway square discs. One thing that really sets Reefway's plates apart from the others is their thickness. They have an ultra thin body, which makes them really good for when you're cutting them on a bandsaw, bone cutters, Dremel. It's going to dole your blades out less and it's going to be easier to cut overall. The other thing that's good about their thickness is once you frag the coral and you put it onto a plate, it's going to have less area that it has to reach down before it grows onto the new plate that you put your frag on top of. This will not only help the coral grow faster as it doesn't have to reach anymore, you'll have less of a bump in the middle on all of your new grow out plates. They're arguably the nicest looking grow out plates that I've seen. They have a nice dark gray body which looks much better opposed to white ceramic or other materials that are often used which will highlight things like algae. Last but definitely not least is how smooth the reefway plates are. This I actually found a pretty important thing to consider when choosing what kind of plates to use for your coral grow outs. The coral usually has a hard time attaching to a smoother surface and it slows down the growth. I'm not sure if this is true for all corals or if how smooth is too smooth but it definitely seems like less smooth is better. On the other hand, you don't want them to be too rigid because this can make it difficult to scrub algae and other things off the plate if needed. The Reefway plates seem to be a perfect mixture of both, where they're not too smooth, 
and they're not too rigid at the same time. I found that one side is actually a little bit more rigid and the other side's a little bit smooth. I'm going to be using the little bit more rigid side that has tiny bumps on it to grow my corals. I'm completely sold on the Reefway square discs and I'm going to be solely using them in my 100 gallon frag tank system. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content just like this. If any of you guys have ever used Reefway discs before or plan on using them now, leave a comment down below. I'm curious how they worked out in a long term system or what you like about them as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.